everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really simple uh, milk carton uh, gift boxes. They're two and a half by two and a half. I love these ones just because I love the paper. I stamp the paper myself using um, some craft asylum um, stamps. So I used, it's like a, a cloud. Um, and this is from a Hello Sunshine um, one. Now I purchased these from TK Maxx, um, so I know that they're not like a new collection or anything. Um, and they were very, very cheap, but it's the first time I've used anything by Craft Asylum, so I don't know anything about them, I don't know if they do dyes, all that kind of stuff. So I am going to have a little um, look on uh, the internet after this and just see what else they do, because these are just really, really fun. So I'm hoping that a lot more of their stuff is like this, because this is very much my style. So. Um, for this project I've used, as I said, the cloud and I've stamped all the background and then for the little owl on the front it was just of that beautiful stamp there which is from the Into the Woods um, stamp set that they've got. I'd be interested to see if they've got um, dies as well that, and maybe I could get some that go with this because I, I cut that myself which is fine, I don't mind doing when it's simple things but I'm, I'm not too keen on cutting things out um, when they're quite intricate but anyway so it's two and a half by two and a half. Um, I've got two different styles here, um, so I've got this one where it just opens straight into a box, so if you've got something wrapped in tissue then I guess that would be okay, so you can do it that way if you wanted to. I folded over the tops so they're just a bit stronger and it just gives it that nice um, contrast in plain white um, border against the top, which I quite liked. Excuse me. And then this one here, exactly the same in size, but it's got one of the lips across like so. So there's that one there, so if you did want to seal it that way, you can do. And then the way I'm, the, the other one I'm going to do is with two flaps going over the top. So I just wanted to do a kind of a variety there, and I'll talk you through what bits to cut to get which style you prefer, because you might want that one, you might want that one, you might like the one that I'm going to do. So there you go, really love them. The colours I used was Emerald MV and Rose Red. So again, if you've got those ones and you might have this stamp set, even better. So crack on and I am using the Peekaboo Peach. So I've already stamped it and I've already stamped my owl and I've cut it and I've put it on a little um, foam sticky pad there as well. So that's that. So grab your scoreboard and scoring. So sorry, your card needs to be ten and a half by eight and a quarter. Okay. So scoring along your, make sure I've got all my score lines lined up. So scoring along your ten and a half inch side first, you're going to score at two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten. And then you want to rotate onto your eight and a quarter side, and you're going to score at two and a half, five, six and three quarters, and seven and a half. Okay, so that's all your scoring done, so you can get rid of my board, and grab my trolley, sorry I just pulled that all over the other side. Okay, so what you want to do first, ignore where I've put sticky tabs and stuff, it's just so I know um, what I was doing. So, turn it over, so you should have the tab on the right hand side, okay, and along the bottom you'll have four big squares. You just want to cut up each of those squares. To that first score line. Like so. And then that last one with that tab, you just want to cut that completely out. And then just go back along. I'm just going to take a piece off the edge there as well. Yeah. Get to the end. There we go. Um, what you want to do is where the where you can kind of see where the score line is, just cut that off, and it will just mean that you get a nice finish on the base of the box, and um, all your edges will be nice and flush. Okay. And again, one there. It's only a tiny, tiny little amount, but. Does make all the difference, and then that one, like so. You can see there what I've taken out. You can see the green from my pad just coming through. Okay, then rotate it so you've got that tab by you, and 
you can see there I've just notched that corner out. You just want to cut down that next bit and notch that out as well, like so. Then rotate again, and then you're going to cut all the way down that first score line really neatly because obviously this is all going to be exposed all the way down, like so. Okay, and then what you want to do is cut down all of these. So you're going to go past the first and second score line, and you're going to cut all the way down to the third. And again, just do that all the way along. Like so. And again, that one. Okay. And you should have burnished all your sides, so I'll just quickly do them now. Just be careful because obviously you've cut them, but you can do it this way as well, it doesn't matter. on what style you want depends on what bit you have to cut off of this one so for example if you want to do the green one where it's completely both the sides are cut off and all you've got is the top piece what you want to do with it facing up with your tab on the left you want to cut completely out the second and fourth from the left hand side the second and the fourth one so these two, just cut them completely out along that score line there and that will give you that finish. If you want to have this one where you have one of the flaps going across the front, you just want to cut off this end one. Okay, but today I'm going to do a different one again. So what you want to do is cut down that one. And that one, so it's that second score line, you want to cut across it, so you're cutting off that piece where it had the two score lines. Okay, so that is what you should have, and then, yeah, that's everything done. Okay, so what you want to do now is, with your pattern facing you, put two pieces of tape, sticky tape along the second score line. So you've got your top one there, that tab, and then you've got that one there with the two score lines. Put your tape in between that. And then all you want to do is fold each one over. I just think it just gives it a nice, a nice finish. And that one, like so, okay. And then turn it over with your tab on your right hand side, the bottom three squares you want to put your um, tear tape, double sided tape, whatever it is, fuse that you've got, put it on those three. Okay, then we're going to fold that side over. I've already put tape on this tab. Fold this one down and just line it all up like so. Okay, so that is the back. So it's now there, that back um, right hand side. So I'm just going to fold that all down for the minute. So this is going to be the last one I stick down because this is the front. So the back one I'm going to put down first. And then on each off. of these bigger squares you'll get a nice finish. We'll turn it upside down in a minute and you can stick all the other, um, you can put your ruler in it and make sure it's all stuck down so don't worry if it's not completely stuck on that first piece. And then again, just again put that one across and you'll see you just get a really nice finish. And then that last one, and by putting this one down last you get a nice uh, look at the front of it. You get you don't see any of your seams, your joins, like so you get a nicer finish. Okay, then take those bits out. I'm just going to fold those back on themselves, like so. Grab my little owl and just line, hold him up like that, just line him up. These ones with the owl on actually would look really good for Halloween. 
you've done them in like with the black card and the orange or the other way around that could look quite good so that's a nice idea and then just fold your two sides in like so and then the top piece join together with your little bulldog clip and there you have it really really simple quick um, milk carton boxes these are great there's loads of them on the um, internet um, but I think I've got a nice put the yellow one in the middle there nice selection of colors so I hope you like this one hit the like button if you did and subscribe to the channel to see more thanks for watching bye